Hello guys, in this video, let's see deployment slot in action. So guys, we already discussed deployment slot in detail in our previous video. But still, we will have a quick recap. Now, for this demo, we are using app service plan which supports deployment slots. Okay. Now, in this video, we will create a new deployment slot that is staging. And thus, in our app service, we will have two deployment slots. That is production and staging. Then we will add a new feature in our web app and we will deploy that new feature in staging slot first and we will test it. Now guys assuming this new feature works fine, we will swap this staging slot with production slot and thus this new feature it will be available in our production site. And now first quick recap what this deployment slot is. Now guys, if you see over here, we have this app service that is this box. Okay. So this is our app service and it is my HR app. And internally, if you see it has two slots that is production slot and this is staging slot. So the URL for this production slot, it is my HR app dot Azure websites dot net. And the URL for this staging slot, it is my HR app hyphen staging dot azure websites dot net so we have two different urls now what we do is when we want to add a new feature we deploy it in this staging slot first and then we will test it and if everything is okay we simply switch this staging slot with this production slot and this production slot with this staging slot so thus this staging slot it is now our production slot and this production slot it now points to this URL that is this production URL and thus the new feature it is now available in our production site because it's there in this production slot. Now guys you may be wondering why we have this concept of deployment slot right I mean anyway when we develop a new feature we test it locally and then only we deploy it in production. So why we can't deploy that feature in production directly. So it's because though that new feature works in local, it may not work in production. It's because the infrastructure in the production and the local, it is different. Okay. But as we are using this staging slot and production slot of the same app service. So the infrastructure is also same. So we are sure that if it works in staging, it will work in production as well. And hence we have deployment slot. And now let's add a new deployment slot that is staging. So let's go to Azure portal. So guys, we are in Azure portal and we are in app services. Let's open this app service. That is our great HR app. And on the left hand side, let's go down and we can see this app service plan. So this is our pricing plan that is app service plan. And it, and it is POV3. So let's open it. Let's click on feature view. You guys, can you see this? This is our app service plan and it supports staging slots. And you can see it is 20. So we are sure that staging slots are supported in our app service plan. So let's close it. Let's again go back to our app service. That is our great HR app. And now we want to add a staging deployment slot so let's go up and under deployment we can see this deployment slots and here let's add slot so here I will say staging and I will say add and you can see this staging slot has been created so let's close it now guys, let's actually check whether we can access this staging slot URL or not. So let's click on this staging slot. So guys, we are in this staging slot. Okay. And here let's say browse. And guys, observe this URL. It says our great HRF hyphen staging. That means it is staging slot URL. And it says your web app is running and waiting for your content. It's because we have not deployed any web app in it. Okay. So let's go back to our previous tab. 
and guys let's cross check our production slot url as well that is production url so again let's click on our app service that is our great hr app and here let's go up let's go to overview so we are in our app service and here i will say browse and guys first thing observe this url it says our great hr app dot azure websites dot net that means it is our production or production slot url and it says welcome to our hr app now let's add a new feature in our web app and let's deploy it first in our staging slot now guys we are in visual studio and this is our asp.net core web app that is our great hr app and we are in this index.cshtml page so first thing let's add a new feature so i will simply say this that is this is version 1 okay let's save it and now let's deploy this web app that is this new feature in staging slot so i will right click on our project and i will say publish let's select azure next azure app service windows next so let's expand this and see guys we can see our app service let's expand this let's again expand this and see guys here we can see the staging slot we we just added so let's select it and let's say finish and now it says ready to publish and observe guys we are publishing in this staging url or staging slot so let's say publish and guys you can see publish is successful that means we have deployed this web app with new feature in staging slot url and let's actually cross check so again we are back in our app service so let's go down and let's click on this deployment slots let's open this staging deployment slot and here i will say browse and observe guys this url it says our app hyphen staging and it says this new version that is v1 as well okay let's actually cross check if this new feature is available in our productions url or production slot url so again let's click on our app service let's go to this overview and here i will say browse let's observe first thing this URL is our great HR app dot Azure websites dot net that is it is our production URL and this new version that is v1 is not present over here okay now let's assume this new feature works well in our staging URL and now we want to deploy or we want to swap it with our production slot URL so again let's go back to our app service let's go down and here let's click on this deployment slots and here let's simply say swap and here let's say start swap and you can see swapping slots is successful let's close close this and let's go back to our production slide url see guys this is our production url and as of now that new feature that is v1 it's not present over here so let's refresh this page and yes now we can see this v1 that is new feature has been deployed in production slot and let's go back to our staging slot url and see as of now this staging slot it shows v1 but now as we have swapped so if i refresh this v1 should not should not be visible so let's refresh and yes, now it's been swapped with production slot URL.